Gemini, and welcome to your weekend vibes. We're going to see what's going on in love for this weekend for you guys. Time is fluid, however, so this can uh, resonate at any time, but my focus is on love for this weekend. So just put it where it fits. Leave what doesn't because it can apply to other areas of your life as well. Roles can always be vice versa as I am doing a general reading for a uh, large amount of people. So let's see what you guys got going on this weekend. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for Gemini this weekend in love? What's their current situation? All right, the Prince of Swords, seeing a new way, um, coming out with the truth, seeing the truth of things and making quick decisions. What's their challenge to this? seven of swords so you could be finding out that somebody has been less than honest with you um the person that you're dealing with their situation they could be dealing with a family situation what's their challenge let's get the fool okay so gemini you guys could um be getting some news that's that kind of takes the rug out from underneath you in regards to somebody not being completely honest about their feelings. Um, I'm not really seeing cheating or deceit here. I'm seeing hidden truths, not telling you how they feel. They see that this is the end of a relationship and they're wanting to um, set out on their own, uh, in their own path. Or this is somebody who, um, the second thing I'm seeing is somebody's coming forward um, telling the truth about wanting to uh, wanting to have a relationship with you. They could be ending another relationship and wanting this new beginning with you. And you're finding out that there was somebody else in the picture. The energy coming in on the weekend is the Eight of Wands. It is Cupid's arrow. Lots of communication. Um, could be internet, text messaging, um, the Empress is also here. This could be communication. Um, let's see. Who's this Empress? Seven of Wands. So is this somebody at a distance from you that at one time um, you had offered them a relationship? Uh, they were very defensive, though. This is going to be, this is going to come successfully around in the way that you wanted. Um, you could be finding out that they were still married because this person is at a distance. This person is, you know, this is a long distance relationship. Um, they could just be ending a relationship and now reaching out to you. Spirit's advice is to let go of the stress and the anxiety that everything will work out the way it's meant to, that things have to come to an end before somebody who's truly meant to be on your path in your life will come to um, manifest here. Let's get your outcome and then we'll pull a couple clarifiers because this one's got a lot of different storylines to it. Yeah, walking away and becoming um, single is your outcome this weekend. So let's, let's see what... Oops. Okay, let's see what the Seven of Swords is all about. Yeah, this is somebody that was in a commitment, um, that was in a uh, marriage for some, um, just a long-term commitment for others, but moving, doing what's best for you and moving away from the situation. It's been very difficult. Um, this is the ending of a marriage for some of you. Um, after finding out of some betrayal, some deceit here, uh, this news is coming in very quickly. They were hiding their feelings about wanting to be single. Um, they feel that this is the end of end of the cycle with you, and they're wanting to set out on their own. Um, yeah, and make plans of their future. Um, this can be you, uh, Gemini. Remember, but moving forward, moving on, moving this away from the situation. Two cards of of starting over, single. So this person is um, is leaving this relationship, whether it be you or them. Um, one of you is putting an end to this to this marriage or long-term commitment. 
you are getting communication from could be a mother um but this is the beginning of being able to birth something new you're gonna have to fight for this new beginning you're gonna have to fight for uh this could be a fight in back in court as well why is the seven of wands here what are they fighting for but you are going to be successful gemini you are going to be the victor in this because the seven of wands always comes out the winner against all odds the nine of wands yeah this is the ending of a cycle so you could be the one that wants to end this gemini and this person does not want you to you could have a mother in your life that is trying to keep this from ending or the mother of your children possibly but you're the one that wants this to end um and it will come to that look at that seven eight nine ten all in what's coming in for you this is this is coming to a completion this was a cycle gemini you've been around and round with this person for some of you seven eight nine ten is a cycle you've been here before but now it's coming to a completion you're standing in your power and you are stand, taking a stand against the mother of your children you are the mother taking a stand against, you know, the father of your children. Or this is a strong feminine energy in your life that you are taking a stand against and ending this situation. You want to set out on this new path, this new journey. See what else is out there. And um, you feel that this is over. Um, you could have found out that your person was cheating and that's why you're moving forward. But either way, this is a relationship coming to an end um, by your choice. Because you see a new opportunity. You see a new beginning. Um, you've thought long and hard about this to the point where you were, you spent a lot of sleepless nights. Yeah. You have spent a lot of sleepless nights worrying about what to do, about the ending of this relationship. Um, you weren't sure whether or not to end it. You weren't sure whether or not, uh, or what you should do. Why is the Nine of Swords in the world here? Yeah, but you want to follow your passion. Spirit is to follow your heart. Follow your passion. Be creative. Um, this is coming to an end, and it's going to come out in a fair and balanced way. It is going to um, be successful in your favor, Gemini. So be creative. Follow your passion and know that um, there's no reason to stress and worry about it. It's all going to turn out okay. And you are going to then end up being able to manifest in a partner that will equally reciprocate um, your love. Because you are setting out on your own soul's journey. And in turn will find that soulmate that will give you that ten of cups, Gemini. So uh, your outcome for the weekend is moving away from a situation that you've emotionally invested in. A lot of time, emotions, effort. But you are walking away from that and focusing on your own happiness, investing in your own future, your own happiness, and uh, and doing what's going to be best for you. Your long-term outcome is the hermit. Going within, reflecting, finding that own inner light, finding your own source of healing, and moving forward on your own soul's journey. The hermit, um, the Eight of Cups sets out on their soul's journey, going into this... Uh, going into this where you retreat from the rest of the world and find out what's important to you. No longer holding on to something that was meant to let go of. No longer holding on to it. Um, you're truly stepping into your path. Your Things are being illuminated. You're seeing people for who they really are. You're seeing situations for what they really are. And you're now finding the courage in the long term to uh, do what it is that's best for you. Move in the direction that is best for you. And you're going to find all those answers after going deep within and doing some reflecting. But as for the weekend, you are setting on your own journey and going to focus on being single, being happy, and your own future, your own goals, your own dreams. And in turn, you're going to manifest that soulmate that's going to give you that ten of cups that you're setting out looking for, Gemini. So... I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. I hope to see you guys next time. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Drop me a like if you would, please. I would much appreciate it. I send you guys all love, light, and God bless.